hello everyone and welcome to my channel i made a rex atmos core video a couple of days back but that was more of a first impressions kind of video so i was still kind of fiddling with the settings and stuff like that but i i finally have it in a way that you pretty much have to just set and forget so the problem that people have with the atmos core not looking like uh, it does when you tune it in a certain weather condition. I, I feel like I have figured out a way to uh, kind of tune it in a way that it, it works for all times and all weather conditions. That's pretty much the topic of this video today. This, by the way, right now is without Atmos. Uh, so I'm going to start Atmos live. Also, in this video, I'm not going to use any reshade. Uh, because I know most of you guys don't use reshade, so uh, it'll be easier for you guys to follow along in, in the whole setup process. So this is raw 2024 without anything. The only thing I'm using here is Active Sky for uh, live weather and we are at Boston. So let me open up Atmos now. Um, and once it opens up and applies, I'll bring it on my main screen to share it with you guys and active. Okay and let's start with weather so i'm gonna just open up my uh open up my base uh profile and then uh, go ahead and edit that one so uh first of all just make sure you reset everything to normal so just go ahead and reset everything so this is baseline okay uh visual cloud enhancement it doesn't really do much but I would leave it at somewhere around 440, somewhere around 440. And then cloud luminance, it will not do much in some situations, but you really don't want this to be maxed out. So I would say cloud luminance, leave it around somewhere around minus 0.2 or something like that. And I personally don't like the buoyancy factor effect. You'll see that it just adds some upward movement to the clouds. I don't like it. So I just keep it off. So that's it. Weather is done. Set and forget. You do not need to change this for any time or any different weather condition. Okay. So now coming down to Atmos here. Um, for Atmos, what I'll tell you to do is uh, obviously, first of all, on the left side, reset everything. And I'll show you how less is more. You, you really don't need to mess with a lot of settings to get a good looking sim. The only problem that we are really trying to solve here is the horizon scattering problem, right? And you don't need to change a whole lot of stuff in Atmos core to get that part right. Okay. So go ahead and hit reset on everything here. Go ahead and hit reset on everything here. It'll kind of look funny. Uh, but I'm going to help you set it up correctly. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we have everything reset. So I'll enable particle absorp absorption RGB lock. We never want to not have this lock on. Uh, because if you don't have this lock on, if you try to increase the setting individually with, you know, uh, different red, green, blue sliders, it, it will look funny. Trust me. Um, another problem that you will see is if you have this misaligned, uh, you will see that that is when you will have very time specific settings where something will look good in the morning, but it will not, not look good in the evening. Another thing, don't mess with these, um, rally sliders, just leave them as it is. Trust me. Maybe if you want to push the blues up just a little bit, you can, but I don't touch that at all. I've just left it as is. Okay, so enable particle absorption RGB lock and then increase the particle absorption to maybe somewhere around. This is too much. So I would say keep it at somewhere around 0.04. Uh, I feel like that works pretty well. If you feel like that's too much, uh, you can reduce it. But I think 0.04 works pretty well, 0.047 something. And then same way. Uh, what particle scattering does is it darkens up the scattering just a little bit because you see right now it's too white. The whole scattering part is too white. So what this will do is it will lighten up the, well, sorry, darken up the scattering. So it will make it on the grayer side, which is what we actually want. We don't want it too white because we know that 2024 is already overexposed. So again, enable particle scattering lock. Okay. 
and push it right like maybe like a little bit lower than what you have your particle absorption setting as okay just a little bit lower than that and if you really want to go darker then you can but to me this looks more kind of realistic and then if you really want your scattering to look a tad bluer then you can do that just disable this lock but again like i said before don't try to move the blue too far away from the others just maybe make it a tad bit bluer by pushing the red i think when you push the red one up it makes it bluer which is kind of counterintuitive but <laughs> yeah that's what it does because if, if you push the blue one up that basically just makes it more green so if you turn the blue one down that makes it a little bit more bluer so you see how it works um i usually just leave it like this but if you like i said if you want it bluer on the cooler side uh cooler side in terms of color then you can turn this particle scattering b a tad lower and then maybe the red a tad higher that will make the scene look bluer so you see how this um, i think most people think that scattering should look kind of blue on the horizon um i don't like this look a whole lot so like i said i just basically enable rgb lock and turn this down just a tad lower than what we have our absorption setting set to and then particle distribution is nothing but you know how much do you want that distribution to be like in the horizon how how thick do you want it to be so the lower you make it the further you'll be able to see i like to keep it somewhere in the middle here uh maybe like 0.6 or something i think that works pretty decent so the default value is minus 0.83 i like to keep it at 0.6 so that there is some scattering but it's not it's not overdone like it's it, it, like it you know works at minus 0.22 or something so i just leave it at 0.6 minus 0.6 i think that's good so again uh this is again a set and forget so you will not have to touch this atmos uh window again unless you really want to like tune the visibility and stuff this is just global scene illumination i try to leave it at default it looks good enough but if you want a darker or a lighter scene you can mess with this i don't touch this at all maybe i can tune it down a little bit but yeah otherwise this this looks just fine right okay so atmos again set and forget it's all done i'll just update this and by the way if you're looking for my settings they are under airborne geek realistic atmos generic master realism same thing for weather as well live weather realistic realistic partly cloudy you can use this for clear weather as well uh doesn't make a difference but this is my uh, weather settings uh this is my atmos preset and then this is my enviro preset enviro it's there's not much to do here uh i haven't really done much here let me just reset everything so the only thing that i really did is kind of balanced out the blues a little bit by bringing the reds lower like i turned the reds to zero and then let me see what else uh, yeah i think i just turned the reds to zero and i turned the blues to zero and then i think i messed with the scattering intensity a tad bit no i think that was just one and then scene color i made it i think a little bit on the red side did i i think i didn't i didn't touch that yeah i think it's fine like yeah just just mess with these as you see fit um as you um as you see it on your monitor maybe you see it too 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 green or too blue i don't know so you can mess with that in the enviro settings but uh yeah this is basically my uh atmos core preset and something that i didn't invent myself uh, one of my friends he has a youtube channel as well sim chronicles he's the one who showed me that you can really have atmos core set up to uh kind of like very close to like set and forget 
and yeah i just basically followed his uh, his lead here simple weather just two sliders to edit atmos just six sliders to edit here and then enviro you can do what you see fit but even if you don't touch it that should still be fine and like i said my settings are all here if you want to download from the community okay now i was about to forget the most important part of the video which is to show you guys that it actually works for all the uh, different times of the day so what i'm gonna do is i have my preset loaded up here i'm gonna go from uh what is the time right now probably like noon i guess so i'm gonna go from morning actually let me start from like very late early morning i guess so 4 a.m this is how it looks like very convincing uh city lights bouncing off of the clouds and stuff looks really good so as you see no need to change the preset for night okay now we have this uh, morning time looks amazing i love how that's how that scattering kind of hides all that uh, textured lights it looks really good so don't need to change the preset a little bit late morning colors look amazing clouds look amazing no funny lighting going on so yeah everything's still good i love this time of the day the colors look amazing especially with atmos it just looks phenomenal okay so late morning is done checked even later morning looks decent still good no need to change the preset looks great and then this is very late morning like almost daytime looks great still looks great you can see how the light shaft are hitting the hitting hitting that part of the city looks really good and then we have almost uh, midday here so you see how the light is coming in everything looks amazing horizon looks amazing you have nice dark cloud shadows and then now we are going to go towards evening yep still looks great clouds look great from the bottom look at those shadows popping in amazing that's the magic of cloud luminance when you turn it down a little it adds some structure to the clouds and i really like that okay let's go towards late evening again still good no funny lighting and let's go towards even later evening wow look at that that's the juice time i love this time of the day and then even later so the sun has set already and all these lights start showing up looks amazing by the way no reshade so reshade will change the game even more i'll make a separate video for that one uh, this one i just wanted to focus on atmos so yeah still look good and then if you push it to the night again or maybe like very late evening it still looks good so yeah you don't really need to change the atmos settings uh, for every time of the day and for every kind of weather uh, let me make it clear skies i'll try to make it clear skies since active sky is controlling the weather i don't know if it will stay for too long okay so that's clear skies again don't need to change it at all like you see there you go don't need to change the preset for clear skies i know it keeps resetting that's because i have active sky on actually it looks too blue too blue it's a different problem than what we had in uh, 2020 but yeah it looks too overexposed and blue i can just turn it on again just so that you guys can see one last time we'll keep this angle and i just started atmos here there you go it does definitely look better i am satisfied with this look definitely looks better it makes everything look more natural uh 
more lifelike and not uh, gamified that's what i would say but yeah let me know what you guys think maybe to my eyes it looks better but to someone else <laughs> they might be like oh default looks way better than your atmos presets just let me know uh that's all i had for this video thank you guys for watching thank you for supporting all my videos uh if you guys are into flight simulation and aviation make sure you leave a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel it really helps the channel more than you think and uh, i would highly appreciate your support on my videos thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video or next live stream